And welcome back. This is Coton for Rights video for you guys. It is Saturday, so we have a UEC. Now this is server two. Uh, current server pop is 189, 100 on the attacking CSA versus 89 on the defending Union. So a little bit of an imbalance, um, but we'll see if that evens out here as we get closer to the 40-minute start time. But we will take a look at these two teams, starting out with the CSA team on this schoolhouse ridge, and it is. Henry Perkins here from VA Bat is on one gun. Let's see, for their infantry, they have the 6th Alabama from the A&V as well as the 10th Alabama here. So both elements of the A&V. We have the 56th Virginia, the 6th Texas, and the 4th Georgia joined by the Shenandoah regulars. And let's take a look at the officer corps here. We've got Slaughter leading the 56th. Major Mack leading the 10th Alabama, Gamebot leading the 6th Alabama, Rousseau leading the 6th, and Lieutenant Dora leading the 4th Georgia. That is a very aggressive flanky team, so we will see if that um, comes to fruition or if they adjust their tactics from what I'm expecting. Now on the Union team here, starting with their guns, you've got one battery here under yeah, Mr. Hankel from the 1st VA. Let's see, then we have... Catch my decoys, leading the TB. We've got 5th Corps led by General Aurelius. We have 2 USC. The German Corps, 2 USC is led by Cap Medi. German Corps led by Colonel Vibar. And 1st Lieutenant Johnson, or 2nd Lieutenant Johnson, I should say, is leading the 1st VA, and I believe that is everybody. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Uh, Nihal Ma, um, I'm doing okay. How you doing? Nihal Ma, Nihal. Zaijian. I'm going to start developing a Chinese language uh, stream going. Alright, fuck up AV's line, come on boys. Anyway, Tuibuchi. <laughs> Because I cannot fucking say tones to save my life. I've been studying that shit for six years. <laughs> on and off. And I still can't get the fucking four tones right. Mandarin. But anyway, you guys don't care about any of that. You care about uh, the episode that's about to go here. So we have... The... It's like... Two cores also here as well with Fort George. I think I missed them on the uh, roll call. Well, we got... It's, the SA is splitting up their forces quite significantly. We've got... Two regiments heading out to this uh, Union left here, and the rest are heading through the Union right here through the woods. We will see how the Union decides to uh, meet this challenge. They've, they're about splitting the same with two and two. So, uh, looks like about an even fight. Really no way to one side or the other at the moment. Now, this game is called War Rights. It is a first-person shooter set in the Civil War, American Civil War specifically. And this uh, is specifically the Maryland campaign from 1862. It is available on Steam for 30 US dollars. See what Eddie can hit. Panzer, now, again, we are on the new rule set that they have uh, kind of taken from the HRE on Sunday. So there is no bayonets and there is no sprinting until the 30-minute mark. So that usually slows down this battle quite a bit and makes it a little bit more challenging for the attacker. We'll see how they can try to evolve from that, or adapt, I should say. And... Uh, overcome if they can. Get ready, Tennessee! Oh. 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 Alright, so far we do have a split into the middle here by Mr. Gamebot, finding the flank as he does. Meanwhile, we've got a little bit more of an aggressive move here by this right contingent of the CSA. Light 
Double column, Double right the left guys. Here we've got this flanking action here by the six Alabama. Kind of follow this in. See if he can ambush the fifth core and make some damage here. Come up, boys. Quickly, quickly, come up. Come up. The game. Straight ahead in the fence line. Bye, Bill, boys. Fall back to reload. Fall back to reload. Fall back to the third. Fall back. Game by catching Press a few left, of uh, three, Fifth Corps and getting them to react. We'll see if that opens up. Uh, now it is um, just TB over here. And they are facing off against the 6th Texas and this 4th Georgia 2 core element. And it's still about a 12 man imbalance here in favor of the CSA. Which is a little rare for the. Uh, UEC to have this much of an imbalance, to be honest with you. I'm surprised they haven't sent over SR or another unit to try to even it up a little bit, but uh, we'll see. So far, it hasn't had too much of an impact. Many losses, many losses. Is going to pull back a little bit and looks like uh, fifth core has staunched this movement here by the 6al and i missed this oh, okay so over here though we've had some success the 56 and the 10th alabama have gotten over on this side now the union has adjusted their cover here but as you can see Oh, so my team is there. <laughs> Without sprinting, it's tough to cover the distance, although we do have a flanking maneuver here by the first VA trying to cut off CSA. We'll see if this works. I think it will with the uh, restrictions on sprinting. We'll see. He can't stay here for too long. So that little maneuver has been pushed back. Again, about even on tickets, I'd say CSA is slightly ahead, not by much. So now you see that um, because Fifth Corps disengaged and then stick on uh, Game Body here, that has loosed him into the rear area here. We'll see if we can do some damage and uh, kind of collapse this side over here. Spend the toss. Hi, boys. Oh Shoot him, please. No mercy. And this is not easy to do with no sprinting either. 
and Elbanes, but he has savaged GC here and uh, kind of unhinged his defense a little bit. And there is a good opportunity now for the CSA if they press forward, and they are indeed doing it here. Here's Major Mack, the other element of A and V. We'll see if they can knock back the CSA, this Union team, and seize this corner here. Of course, 56 VA needs to move up as well, to be honest with you. If Slaughter brings his men up, they could very well seize his position. But he's got to move. And he is indeed doing so. And he looks like he's going to aim to take out the first Virginia first. And then swing up. This could be a pretty decisive moment here for the CSA team. If they could secure this position. You see the rest of the CSA team is now disengaged. Um, this I think is a mistake. You need to try to keep Fifth Corps and TB tied down for a little bit longer. While this is finished off. I don't think I mentioned 4th New Jersey either in the uh, roll call. So I do apologize. It's tough when I don't see the star. What are you doing? And that is the end of first VA there. Now there is a good. Okay, so now you see. I'm just going to zoom out here to see who it is. Whoever this unit is right here is doing a real good job of tying down. 6 Texas is tying down 5th Corps. TB has now been loose to react, but I don't think it'll be in time to save this corner. And no, it will not. The leftovers of that force there are gone. And the CSA at the 30 minute mark is a little bit ahead on tickets and has seized the corner. Um, Alright, we're a little bit closer now to even 94 to 102 now, so that's a little bit better. I don't know where well the, where they, where they, where they that was a good little charge before uh, bayonets. Well done, Mac. Nice. Virginia, hold the fence off the turnpike. Over the fence off the turnpike. Hinter mir Colonna. So now the CSA has seized this corner here. See what they do with it. Sprinting and Bayos are now live. I cannot take a knee. They will not let us. Now this event is called the United European Community Event. It is a private event. Um, it is hosted every Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. GMT. Link in the description if you are interested in signing up your unit for it. They are accepting uh, additional units. So, as I said, there's two servers. I'm only able to cover one. Alright, form up and shoot them in the back, boys. Double co double firing rank, shoot them in the back, fire roll. Six AL catching a little bit of TB. They pull back and reorganize. Uh, we'll see if the CSA aims to cap here now. Um, I absolutely would. Got enough time. You could just get the Union out into the open. Kind of uh, catch up some of that time that you miss because you don't have the sprinting. Because otherwise it's very hard to get sufficient casualties uh, to win this map with that 30 uh, minute rule in there on this particular map. These two guys are kind of canceling each other out at the moment. Alright, so we got some forward movement here by 10th. Uh, they gotta get going before the uh, reinforcements come down here. Again, I'm kind of surprised they're not going for a cap right now. Someone pick up. We gotta get out of here, decoys. We gotta pull back. About face up the street. Looks like decoys is gonna try to get his men back a little bit. It's 
the reinforcements are going to start flooding down the hill. General Vibar coming down. Ihr kennt das Spiel. Again, I don't know why you're not capping right now. It's it's you're not gonna you're not gonna shoot these guys out. I, I'm, I'm sorry, you're not gonna do it in 26 minutes. Well, Vibra kind of got caught out there. Lost a good amount of his men coming down. Another one. Oh yeah. Right, you see with the sunlight. Hold fire, hold fire. Push up to Mac. Hold the line, hold the line. Hold the line, up. hold the line. Keep line, sprint catch up. Oh. On my right or left? Just on the line, on the line. Shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, second U.S. kind of got caught out here by the A and B. That's not a force you want to take on by yourselves. Oh, y'all are gone. Y'all are gone. Later, There we go. The U.S. got knocked out. Now you do have this small element of GC. I would swallow this up right now. Now you do have a bit of an attempt by this unit over here, which is First VA, Fourth New Jersey, trying to. Uh, just to recover their flags and maybe try to defeat uh, 56, but we'll see what Johnson right. ends up trying to do here. Okay, uh, Union is now at engaged at the 25 minute mark. CSA is still battle ready. North New Jersey kind of got sent squirming back. At least first CA pretty vulnerable here to 56. The problem right now is you don't have a flag, so you are not going to be able to sustain a gunfight against a superior unit numbers without a flag, and they have a flag, it just won't. So every time you kill a man, they get him back at five seconds. Every time you get a man killed, they spawn all the way back up there. I don't know why 56 is just moving up and knocking them out. Yeah, 4th New Jersey is going to come up and join them, but... Yep, complete waste of time there. Uh, looks like A and V is now Major, Major Mac is moving to cap. Now it looks like there was a defeat over here. TB did defeat, did defeat somebody, knocked down a flag, which is good for them. I knew they would cap. Nice volley, all. Ninety-four to one hundred. That's that's better now. Boys, we need to be in a double column. Let's dress this up, please. So CSA has cap now. We'll see what the Union does in response. They got 11 minutes, 40 seconds for the recap. Now we got Eddie is going to try to come down this left side here. Take a look at the right side though. I've been a lot on the left side. Deco. 
Have right six Texas down here. I'm in. Oh no, this is the two core for Oh, we already have a recap going. CSA just let some recap like this. That is a huge, huge. That might just be uh, what you call it. Degradation. Oh, uh, Eddie's. Well, Eddie's got a little bit more manpower, but still, I would not. You don't have a flag, they have a flag. You're about even on numbers, and they have a little bit more. There's no point in getting a gunfight like this. You are not going to win it. Well, so USC is not doing bad with shooting, but again, you're just not going to win this fight. But now we do have, it might tie them down long enough. We get a major push developing down here. Here's GC. And are they not going to cap? Oh, that's a huge mistake not going to cap. I can see them wanting to help out to knock out 56. But uh, if you don't recap here. So we got a big fight going on over here. Let's see if we can make it over in time. Yeah, it looks like uh, TV got shot off here. They've been knocked back. That's got a major fight going on against 56, and I think with this level of force, they should be able to win without too much difficulty. Excuse me. Back in some water. Get on the fence. Left side, and defend fire. Uh, I'm amazed the Union is not moving to recap right now. That is that is stunning me right now. They have an opportunity to do so, and they are squandering it. CSA is way out of position. He could recap and get a lot of tickets back. Get all the way back to the top of engaged. Um, you can leave one unit here as a guard, but everybody else needs to move over, in my opinion, and recap. And I think Eddie has figured that out, and he's moving over there. Now the CSA is getting too distracted chasing off TB and is not guarding the point with enough power here. And they're going to pay for it as the Union moves up to recap. Hello, Louis. Is that a Yep. <laughs> that sounds like me. March. Left in the line. On the fence. Down the line to our southwest by. Herbert, VA is to the left. Coming next to Blake. At the red eight. You got the leftovers of 56. They did do a good job of getting that flag back, but, uh,. There's the recap, and you see how many tickets the Union's got back now at 22 minutes. That's looking a lot better for them. Now you see the CSA is coming in to contest it, but now they got to fight for it. We'll see if the Union can mount a, uh, a decent defense for this. You got Eddie is kind of the first line here. Break reloads to the right fence. He's going to need some additional support here. We're doing our part. Take game. Right, right, here's the initial attack coming in by the ANV. Oh. Looks like they caught uh, fifth core a little bit on, uh, a little bit unset here. Yeah, 
Here comes uh, a probably game bot. Yeah, that's game bot. He's gonna shoot him right in the back here. A nice combined attack there. I hear six Texas in there. And a very nice attack here by the CSA team. Doing a lot of damage to this Union team. Oh, here comes Weber. Slamming into the six Texas here. Nice maneuver there. Oh, and TB coming out of nowhere. Coming back in to chase off this element of A and V. Good job by the TB getting back into the fight. And I think the Union's going to be able to hold it now. A couple really good maneuvers there by this Union team. Was able to recover. Now you've been able to hold on. Oh, but the CSA is sending up reinforcements as well. They need to finish this off quickly. Uh, the Union does. I think they take it too long to finish this pocket and letting this other force come in here. Who is this? It is Slaughter. He's going to come in and hit the 56 here and possibly collapse the flank of the Union team. No, it's not just about winning the fight. you got to win it sometimes fast enough. Sometimes you take too long in the fight. Like, oh, we're fine. We're, you know, you know, other people are maneuvering. you got to sometimes finish the fight. And off they go. TB has been pushed back. Meantime, this element is still holding on. It has not been wiped out by the Union yet. And as reinforcements are coming in and kind of collapsing this flank. Uh, we do have a separate element from 5th Corps coming up now. See if they can slow down 56, but they are getting nailed as they come up. And this is a gunfight which is very much favoring the CSA right now as you can see on the tickets. It's within five now, so that's not bad. Oh, <laughs> Decor didn't have their uh, flag with them. And you can see that cost them quite dearly by not having that flag with them at the time. And the Union still hasn't defeated this element here. It's that five second respawn. You can't just get into these uh, gunfights, you need to win them. Unless you just drag out. And that favors. Has ever got more tickets? CSA has capped. I think they get a little bit uh, ill-disciplined on that cap. They went a little bit long and longer and got it on the uh, taking losses timer versus the uh, engaged. But I think it's nice. All right, so now you do have this foe maneuver by GameBot. He is going pretty deep into the field here. I'm not quite sure what he's thinking of doing there. We cover arms. We cover. Yeah, don't cross in front of a firing line, guys. Six Texas, don't, don't do that. Alright, so GameBot looks like he's doing a raid on the Artie, which I think is a mistake. It's one cannon. Um, and you're pulling off an entire unit here. 
That is, I think, a major mistake. A waste of that resource. If it was two or three cannons, maybe I would... This was like a 300-man server I could see doing that. But not a 200-man server with one cannon. Do you see now the Union's getting more coming in? And these guys have kind of stopped them out in their tracks over here. So now you got this uh, gunfight going on over here between V Corps and 6 Alabama. Venid conmigo. Shoot under the tree. Shoot under the tree. Ah. Uy, voy a estar. Vale. Nos quedamos aquí. Nos quedamos aquí. Tienen que venir ellos. Vale, eh... Nos quedamos aquí, aquí en el arbusto. Aquí en el arbusto. Formamos. Formar y agachar. Venga, línea a mi derecha, compañía. So the Union's got eight minutes on this counterattack. So, uh, Gamebot has retreated. That has freed up uh, Fifth Corps. So we will see how that changes up this action here. Now, the Union, the good thing for them is they've achieved uh, this position here. That's a fucking yeah. Tennessee volley right there, boys. Yes, sir. Oh, no, this cluster's open in the death. This is unique. Hey. Second left face to me. Second left face on Eddie. Eddie! Eddie, what do you think about going in at 7? At 7, we advance on both sides. Now you see 5th Corps starting to move down. Uh, Gamebot is still a little bit far away here, and you actually do have an advance by Dora here from 1st, 4th Georgia. I think he might be getting a little bit too far out here, and is in danger of getting caught out. It's going to thin out the defense a little bit. Kill Eddie. Kill Eddie. Oh, and two U.S. easily defeats the fourth Georgia there. We've got six minutes left on the counterattack. It looks like uh, fifth corps is still moving down here, possibly to engage again with six AL. Main battle line hasn't changed all that much. So now with Fort Georgia, you might have enough of an imbalance on forces to punch through, but it would be messy. And here it comes. Looks like Eddie's going to try to flank around. It looks like TB punched through, but here comes A and V to plug the hole. And it was a successful flank attack, it looks like by the Union team. They have seized this sector here. Any second U.S. on the fence here, independent fire. GC and the two USC. Now it's a shootout, but I think the Union might have an opportunity to uh, to take it here. Ah, but here comes Gamebot. Fifth Corps is not restraining them. And that is going to be a big problem, because now A and V is going to be able to come back in and possibly hold the point long enough for the reinforcements to come back down and hold the point. We will see.
This core needs to get moving fairly quickly. If Fisco is starting to move, and we also have reinforcements coming down. This might be very timely. Here comes TB getting back in the fight very quickly, and might be able to slam into 56 from the uh, from the rear here. Come here, you fucks. All right, looks like that attack has kind of run out of steam here. Uh, GC has pulled back. Now you have fifth court down the road. If they do a big push here, they could finish this between these two elements. There's not much left. It just requires a little bit of a push. You got to do it though before reinforcements come up. And the Union seems hesitant, and this might cost them the game here. Just fight, boys. Just fight. Just fight. Just fight. 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 No. No. Come on, boys. Just shoot. Come on. Just shoot. Just shoot. Alto. 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 Ah, apunten. Alto. Apunten. No tenemos carga. No tenemos. No llevamos carga. Venga la carga. Venga la carga. La carga. La carga. Que sí, hombre. Que tenemos amigos al lado. Here comes the six Texas. They will not, they will get wiped out, but they will hold them back here. We've only got 240 left. You got TB in fifth core here now. I think we're able to crash into them if you want. Hey, if, if you crash. A and V, we're moving. Let's go. A and V is going to try to wipe out. Ooh, timely. Already shot there. And this will be very key if they can wipe this element off before that element gets going here. CSA may be able to hold on. That element, though, if the U.S. element to the northeast moves in, though, CSA is very vulnerable at the moment. But that won't last more than a few few seconds here. Let's look what's coming down the road. Come on. Get over here. Let's go. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Come on, get over here. He's reaching. I got it. Looks like Gamebot has gone out to intercept TB. They did not go straight in. They kind of tried to go through this creek here. Hold six, hold six. They're running away. They're running away. Hold six, hold six, hold six. And they will hold. And now this element is wiped out. And they've got reinforcements back here that are not even engaged. This Fort Georgia 2 core element. I can move up and help. So, uh, indecision, indecision. Oh, they it's off hurting the right. union quite a bit. Yard lost chance. Yeah, they were up there fighting when you guys were all sitting back here. That's what the rest of your team was. So one minute remaining. Those guys probably won't make it in. And there we go. That's the end of that. And here comes the last bit of the Yankees, which will get a massacre in the road. That's the end of that. Uh, yeah, it's it's 
with the restrictions on this, you have to increase your level of violence. You can't just be sitting back. You know, you, you're already not sprinting. You're not bayoneting. Taking five minutes off for the, you know, for the five minute start. You need to engage at a much more robust pace um, on the counterattack, especially. Um, you have to take that counterattack back. You can't just let them have it. Um, and the Union kind of just sat back quite a bit, so. Um, didn't really work out. Two disaggregated charges. So, um, unfortunate loss for the Union team. Um, good win for the CSA. And we'll see what happens on the next map. I believe it's a uh, contention next, so.